the little bit idea we have shared about the EV visible. So after finishing this part, I will show a few question here, just one or two question here, which I will actually give you assignment. Okay. Discussing on that, and after that, I will start the reaction mechanism. Uh, today, maybe two or three, we will finish the reaction mechanism. After that, we will, uh, next day, we will start the rest of the reaction mechanism and start FTIR. That is also some very important uh, part of spectroscopy. We can identify the functional group. UV spectroscopy, the color and the unsaturation, FTIR for functionality. The spectral study for functionality, presence of functionality. So these two are very important. And uh, uh, when you're actually, uh, what is the date of your tentative date of your uh, mid-semester? Uh, February. 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 14 to 8 to February. Hmm. 14 to 18 February. Yes. So uh, there are some, uh, this uh, first class related to first class, first two classes, uh, structural stability is uh, related, and then UV and reaction mechanism are in your mid -sem semester. Okay. We will discuss elaborately uh, this part in one class before mid semester again, the question, et cetera. Ma'am, please now, send the syllabus of medicine in our uh, There is no such actually syllabus of mis, uh, medicine. Uh, uh, whatever the complete com compiling with the every batch, the teacher will uh, go up to the common part, we'll choose. They actually, we covered this one. Then we'll go for this one, which has the that's the mid semester syllabus. Because we separately teach na, four uh, unit, uh, your branches. So that's why uh, after before mid semester we'll uh, sit together and discuss uh, how much everybody actually progressed according to their their branches and we will decide for the mid semester syllabus. Can this please send us uh, by the end of January? Uh, actually, that is not possible. Actually, uh, you know mid semester there is uh, you have no study leave at all. Okay, but I already mentioned this one. The, some structural phenomena, whatever I have done, and then a uh, few uh, UV, you just properly prepared this UV spectroscopy, and I will go give you some, and uh, this uh, home assignment, you have to submit within a due, due time, but you, you, you have time actually, okay? Uh, but uh, for your preparation actually, I put this in, uh, in the, Home as, as uh, home assignment and reaction mechanism. Actually, you have some reaction mechanism definitely, and this part is very easy. You can prepare right now. And you, I know, uh, actually, you are very familiar these uh, with this reaction mechanism. Just prepare for this mechanism. You, you have to. The question may be not in exact mechanism. Maybe the molecules are different. So that you can actually, you have to, just something is uh, not in the same actually. Whatever I am going here, we will be going here, that molecule is not equal in the mid-semester prevalence. Maybe some twist will be there, but you can catch up, no problem. We will discuss before the mid-semester elaborately. Yeah, before one week, maybe. Okay, before one week we will discussing, but you, uh, collect the all note, okay, and uh, read very carefully because you have maybe no time to cover all. And uh, inorganic, like uh, just, um, I have no idea about the inorganic uh, um, syllabus or physical similar. All teacher will tell you separately, okay. Okay, now I will start.
okay so last week we have uh, we actually go to up to uh, woodward pfizer rule the uh, not this one up to this one actually we reached this one last week for the woodward pfizer rule for dying and trial system and during this class i observe few students are very mane promptly catch up the phenomenon um, this uh, thing actually how to add addition uh, perform for the lambda max calculation next part this one i will little bit uh, actually uh, for the time being at later i will tell okay this solvent polarity effect and now go to straight first the this one the woodward pfizer rule for because these two are similar woodward pfizer rule for dying and trying system and these rules are now i am predicting alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde and ketones the lambda max value can be calculated by using the woodward pfizer rules rules because the observation is consistent from this theoretical value and the uh, experimental value are merged together nearly little bit uh, plus minus so uh, what is the base uh, basic moiety we first choose that is acyclic and or and six cyclic ring cyclic system acyclic or six member cycle okay if this happen the e and the in between there is this moiety alpha beta unsaturation and one keto compound keto or i can say better way carbonyl compound carbonyl moiety either c double bond o or c double bond o h the base value is 250 if the five member ring then base value is 202 and here separately if is aldehyde actually okay so the if there is c double bond o base value is 215 if there is aldehyde type of moiety okay carbonyl moiety is aldehyde then it is 210 for the base value now the addition for each type of component other than if a cyclic system cyclic system have homodyne component homodyne means homo annular component actually then we have to add 39 because now we are going for the alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde so this is our basic moiety c double bond o and there is another unsaturation in conjugation other than if the cyclic moiety have homodyne system or homo annular system for this one we have to add plus 39 for pi pi conjugation plus 30 is the similar from the previous one exocyclic double bond presence of exocyclic double bond provide another plus side and for substitution is different for each type of position actually suppose one alkyl group or ring residue present at alpha position it gives plus 10 if it is a beta position it's 12 gamma delta or higher position it will plus 18 but alpha beta gamma delta they should have some pi conjugation system if there is a delta position but there is no conjugation related to the alpha uh, beta position then we will not go for this substitution as a contributory part next one if this alkoxy the value will be totally different for alpha beta gamma uh, you can see 35 30 17 and 31 for hydroxyl is 35 30 30 50 so for alpha beta system little bit contribute uh, mane not straight cut like dyne system dyne system we mostly think about the conjugation system and the substituent exocyclic and ring residue or alkylar uh, plus fiber with a consistent value there is no alpha beta gamma delta variation but here is something different because of the electron withdrawing effect of oxygen is different now with uh, this some example 
so all are this one now you can tell what is this one what is the base value of this five member ring base value i'm 215 2 not 202 the stake again as i click on six member 215 five member 202 ld height like this one is 210 this are the base value and if homo annular died or then we have to add plus 39 now go to the example so first one first one is the double bond o this is alpha beta alpha beta this position is alpha beta unsaturation and this is keto group now base value is there is one substituent this is ring residue and this is the alpha beta main moiety so value is 202 35 for the alpha hydroxy group 12 for beta ring residue so the value is 249 okay so almost same only you have to uh, think about the base value choosing okay this way now next example next one which one you tell this one this is and six like six rings like cyclic ha huh? mem 215 six rings like this this one Okay, tell me this one. Base value is two zero two fifteen. Then ring residue is alpha ring residue, beta ring residue. This one alpha ring residue, and this is beta ring residue. So what is the value? And there is any exocyclic? No. The value is two fifteen plus ten for alpha ring residue. 12 for beta ring residue 237 okay ma'am please tell once more so six member ring alpha beta unsaturated if that is okay so keto group may be outside or in like this way way may be different but one there is a one cyclic system involved so you take the 15 215 as the base value then there is some difference for each ring residue the contribution is positional contribution that is if it's alpha plus 10 and if it is at beta so 12 and for gamma and delta or higher it will go to 18 plus 18 so this way you go to this one and we will get the 235 okay now this one here is uh, just choose this is the alpha beta main moiety alpha beta and this is keto so this is a uh, six member ring so 215 is the base value that is okay now this one extended conjugation this one is extended conjugation with the alpha beta for each extended condition con uh, conjugation you have to add plus 30 so 215 plus 30 now these two are showing here ring residue beta position and this is gamma this is delta position okay so beta position plus 12 and gamma and delta are already mentioned plus 18 so plus 18 and this one is a another exocyclic double bond so plus 5 now what is the value Two eighty. So two fifteen is the base value. Five from the exocyclic double bond, one beta substituent. You can't do this beta substitution because it is in now conjugation. So whole system is this up to this. Up beyond this, you don't need to go because there is no pi electron. If there is no pi electron in conjugation, you don't need to go because UV visible spectroscopy totally actually mainly pi pi transition or n pi star. Okay, so plus eight. 
मैम अल्फा बीटा पोजीशन इज रिस्पेक्ट टू व्हिच ग्रुप अल्फा बीटा विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू कीटो बिसाइड्स द अल्फा बिसाइड्स द कीटो ग्रुप वी स्टार्ट द अल्फा एक्चुअली ओके दिस इज द मेन ग्रुप एंड नाउ वी स्टार्ट अल्फा बीटा गामा डेल्टा ओके मैम like alpha ka alpha hydrogen you have some re re reaction na name reaction what is the name reaction alpha hydrogen aldol condensation yes so alpha oh, hydrogen first compound be, uh, besides the alpha hydrogen so that that's why so this is alpha beta on saturation this is the main moiety actually you have to think the basic moiety after that and consider this one is a 215 for six member like and now we add slowly step by step for each conjugation plus 30 for each substitution in at beta is 12 gamma and delta 18 and and to 18 and exocyclic for 5 for your purpose you just consider this alkyl group and uh, this uh, ring residue only okay we will not uh, complex more complicated with the using this type of thing because the value will be different so don't think just straight cut substitution means ring residue or alkyl group concentrate on this way okay just showing one now this one tell me what is the base value is 215 now ma'am for two conjugation 30 plus 30 yes okay and next One exocyclic. One exocyclic double bond. Hmm. And there is a ring residue. Two, two ring residue. This is a LP beta position actually. This one twelve and this is eighteen. Eighteen into two. Clear. The blue, all blue contributing eighteen. Because the position is higher, the gamma and delta and higher. All are same then. alpha beta and gamma but there is another point homo annular dime this one there is another actually interaction in both other than alpha beta moiety so that's why we have to add plus 39 okay so 215 plus 5 from exocyclic double bond 12 from beta ring residue And why why I am writing three, ah uh, one two, this will actually two just maybe. Two into two eighteen for this two and two into thirty. For conjugation and plus 39 for this homo annular system, extra you have to add. Okay, extra you have to add, and the total whatever the total actually. So this part you write down clearly. Total marks accordingly. There is actually I want to see this one. Definitely you will get the mark. if you not making the total or etc but your if this is okay then i will give the full marks okay clear so i will go to the next slide next slide this is some question so actually now i will go again for the dissolvent now the solvent effect so solvent polarity what is the actually choice choosing of solvent is very important suppose you have a solvent actually non polar solvent having no interaction hydrogen mane hydrogen etc then you have solute totally dissolve in this non polar solvent and you treat Uh, run for uh, uv then what will happen hmm and obviously the solvent is 
not uh, so much UV activity or separate from the UV active uh, absorption is separate position from the solvent. Or rather, you just first initially take it's uh, not any UV active solvent, no unsaturation. Then, what is actually your conclusion if this happens for the solute? Ma'am, we can get accurate data. Accurate means uh, a fine spectral one. Actually, solute provides the spectral data as it is in a gaseous state. Okay? Gaseous state because in a very diluted uh, condition and no interaction with the solvent molecule. So, it behaves, gives a fine spectrum and behaves like it in a gaseous state. Clear? Hmm? So, no interaction. So, whatever solute have only this, that, uh, this observation, solute's property, optical activity, UV activity, we find in its spectrum. Now, the solvent, this one. Then in some solvent, we have this one for a particular solute. Now, we transfer, money, mixing a polar solvent now slowly. Then what happens? There is a two chance. Suppose you have, I just take, um, an ever, just uh, uh, some schematic actually. So there is a n pi n non bonding electron and also pi. Then what happens? I am showing here n pi star energy rise. So n is in the lower position. Why this happened? What is I mean, if we could increase the polarity, then non bonding electron interact with the polar solvent much more. Okay, and so it's little bit down. And we will get a blue sheet. Okay. It's clear. What happened? So this is a one case. Where if the polar solvent. Interact with a molecule. In a ground state level. Ground state level. And if there is a non-bonding electron. They interact with this part. Suppose you have hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen containing uh, solvent, and you have non bonding electron in oxygen, one molecule. Okay, so they interact quickly from the hydrogen bonding, and you will get this lower than n bonding electron, and you will, you will get a blue sheet. Clear this one? Yes, ma'am. Okay, with example, it will be clear actually, but that's uh, uh, okay. But uh, just think actually. And another option actually, you can see if the polarity increase, okay, and this happen in such a way, the interaction, suppose you have hydrogen bonding interaction or any other interaction, polar interaction, happened in a transition level, this anti-bonding level excited state interaction then what happened it lowered his energy this red one so now the interaction after increasing the solvent polarity interaction happened in the excited state and this actually decrease this actually decrease the energy decrease the energy gap and so red shift will sit so, different type of condition. If you have no interaction with the solvent, then what happens? It behaves like a gaseous moiety. If it's in a non-bonding electron uh, layer, non-bonding electron pair interact with the non-bonding electron pair, you will get the blue shift. And if in the excited interaction, excited energy state interaction with the solvent, then you will get a red shift. So, what is the conclusion? What conclusion is that you have an idea for a particular moiety. Suppose you have acetone, etc. Any moiety. First, you identify the n pi star and uh, pi pi star transition. You have two transitions. Now, you to increase the polarity. Then you check the what is the movement of this polarity um, curve actually, spectral curve. Depending on that, you can predict it is the 
which were red shift or blue shift. Both cannot be play in a particular moiety at a time. One will be the uh, priority. Suppose you have oxygen lone pair and you have polarity increased by a hydrogen containing uh, solvent, then definitely your non-burning electron pair will be happen and interact fast. So in this way, you can get an idea about the compound's nature, okay, using this change of solvent polarity. We will go later on. Actually, need some uh, accurate uh, uh, example to predict. Now, this one few samples. How aromatic compounds are behaved? Okay. And how to identify this? First, we will take uh, benzene. So, lambda uh, max is 254. All are pi pi star. This one is pi pi star. Okay. Now, it's CH3. We uh, incorporate one CH3. Lambda max is 261, then 2CH3, 272, then there is a one pi conjugation, 282. Then what is the reason of this uh, for this one? Up to this uh, one? Hyper conjugation and plus high effect. And in third one, it is conjugation with ring. So that means uh, their energy is lower and lambda x higher. Okay, so this is red shift. Then what happened with this one? There is something different. 242 pi pi 2 star. And again, there is a two different bond uh, absorption we'll, uh, we see because of paraquinone, because of two oxygen. N pi star 1 and 434 uh, N pi star dot. So two separate bond will appear. So this will can give you idea. This is benzene and this is hydroquinone or separate from this one. So in this way you can get idea. Now next one. You have N dimethyl N, N, uh, N, N dimethyl benzene. Okay. Then what happens? N N dimethyl aniline. You can say not benzene. Aniline. Then lambda max. I just write down whole the uh, whatever the possibility for my, your understanding. But one is pi pi star. These two are pi pi star. Okay. Pi pi star, pi pi star, pi pi star. Now, 250, suppose we'll take one, 250, 247, 249, and 258. Now, these and these are almost same. Why this is happened? I'm steric inhibition of resonance. Yes. So, you can understand, you know the steric inhibition of resonance. There is no actually extended uh, resonance happen for ortho position. If there is a bulky group with the in methyl group, there is some steric inhibition. And the UV spectral data shows actually support this uh, observation. Okay. In this way, uh, spectral analysis sometimes very significant, UV is significant for us to understand the, their uh, pi conjugation. These all are actually resonance containing. Resonance phenomena is involved. Pi transition, etc. is involved. These are actually understand by UV visible spectroscopy. Okay. Now next. This one I have one question actually later on. Suppose you have this one, 261. Another one is a lambda max 338, 81, 381 and 261. What is this difference? Because Maybe. there is an extended conjugation. So energy is lower and red shift. So one is a paranitro uh, benzene and there is a uh, pan, um, nitro, paranitro anything. Okay. So the values actually, both are highly colored compound, okay, both are actually dark yellow. So, but by observing these two samples, you have, uh, you can understand which one is which. But you dissolve in a particular solvent, chloroform, and you run. So your value will tell what is the, which one is the aniline and which one is the benzene, dinitrobenzene. Okay, so this is very specific. 
for a particular compound. Dye of, all dye have specific, all dye compound, color dye compound have specific UV absorption. Now this happened, okay, I have done. And now some question I write down for you. What type of question actually will come? Very simple question actually related to this UV visible spectroscopy. Hmm. Mainly, suppose uh, first question, straight, uh, simple uh, lambert bias law for absorption of light. We have already learned and with a the uh, schematic, uh, um, their uh, dry, um, expression, and as much as possible, the meaning of the each uh, actually uh, this uh, uh, use the de designated actually. Uh, suppose a, uh, there is a, a, there is a i. You have to write down each parameter with their indication. I say what, what, why we are using this one description. Okay purpose for this one. Another is definition type one question. So what is chromophore and oxochrome with an example? Maybe some, uh, we have a red C, bathochromic C. These all are, uh, we provide, give you some uh, definition type question. Next one, uh, explain why type. So suppose you have one question. In alkaline medium, paranitrophenol shows red C. Why? I mean, phenol the hydrogen. Hmm. I mean, phenol the hydrogen is acidic, so it will abstract by the base and O and after O minus with with will undergo conjugation with the ring. So the energy increases. Hmm. Energy increases and energy increases. Energy decreases and wavelength increases. Average energy actually resonance has been hmm. actually lowered and so the we show the reflection in a red sheet. Okay, higher lambda value. And next one, in acid medium, aniline and benzene shows comparable spectra, but the same type of spectra. Why? In acid medium, aniline and benzene... Ma'am, uh, ma'am, due to uh, the abstraction of uh, hydrogen ion... The abstraction of protonation. Uh, protonation uh, by nitrogen. Yes. NH2 plus, uh, NH3 plus. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Strong minus I. Hmm? Ma'am, no. strong minus I. No, in uh, presence of acid means H plus, then aniline will go to pH NH3 plus. Okay. So that means now the electron donation from the nit NH2 group or nitrogen will not be possible. So the benzene ring is intact for the aniline is same as, as benzene ring as native position. So value will be like 254 near about. Clear? Yes, this way. So aniline a, NH2 group is protonated and so that the donation of electron from the nitrogen to the benzene ring is not possible now in acidic media. So now the what is the value will be? Value is the same as the benzene intact. Okay. So this type of question, very simple question, you have to draw the structure. Suppose protonated, abstracted, the, you have to draw one reasonable structure to explain the phenomenon, the observation. So this type of explain why type question will come. Okay. And third, second type, and uh, lastly, actually, the calculation on the lambda max. Now tell me, I just uh, get it uh, from the previous some question. So this one we already done, just little bit change. So what is this one? What is the value for the first one? Step by step. So value 215 is the base value for this one, alpha, beta, unsaturated. Now alpha, beta. Beta have one substitution. Beta, then gamma. Gamma have one, delta have one, and higher one, this one. So this is beta for 12, 1, 12, and 3, 18. 3 into 18. Okay. 
Understood yes. clearly? This one, this one, and this one. Clear? Or I can show another way also. Three. Ma'am, please eight. repeat, ma'am. Okay, I will maybe cut from here one line. This one, this one, clear now. Blue is beta, okay, and rest are eighteen. Beta ring residue won't be there. B beta sub alkyl group and ring residue is same. Actually, these two are ring residue alkyl group and these two are ring residue. Okay, okay. Okay, alkyl group. I just uh, maybe. So and for this one, what is the value? Here is the diene system or triene system. So base value is for homoannular diene is two fifty three. Now for conjugation, plus thirty, and how many exocyclic double bond? Hmm. How many exocyclic double bond? One. Two, two, two. Here is one. The, this is exocyclic. This is exocyclic. This is something okay, actually okay. confused actually maybe. But you see this one one and one. So two exocyclic double bond. So two fifty three into two into five exocyclic double bond. Okay. Now ring residue one conjugation. Ring residue and alkyl group how many? Just by this way one. How many? Oh, sorry. Hmm. How many? Five. 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 This is a uh, two are alkyl group and uh, three are ring residue. So at a five because the value is same. Five into uh, five into five and two exocyclic. Two into five. Extended conjugation is uh, one plus thirty. So that is the total sum. Okay, so very carefully go through this one. I I, I will float this thing uh, is as assignment. Okay, so you have to submit carefully. So up to this for up to this for UV spectroscopy. Actually, very many concentrated way. I just go through the very many important part of the UV spectroscopy. But there is lots of thing uh, uh, are actually pending for discussion. Like we can use 
each moiety separately and we can discuss, discuss their uh, what is the pi pi transition, n pi star transition, what is the possibility of merging it. So many things are pending. But still, I think you can get some idea how UV visible spectroscopy is very helpful for understanding the this uh, their pi pi conjugation system okay for their behavior because sometimes we see there is no color in a particular solvent in acid medium or some in different way so this all can be actually explained by uv spectroscopy analysis data okay so I will give this one as an assignment, prepare this one and later on I will give another one so that if anyone miss at least, so next one will be uh, completed. So you will get uh, internal marks will be actually secure. Now the next part, mechanism. Very quickly I will go, I know these are very, you know better. Reaction mechanism. First one is the Faborsky reaction. Is it not are you familiar with this? Hmm? Ma'am, I haven't heard of it before. No. Yes. No. Yes, ma'am. It is in advanced. Yes, yes ma'am. Whoever prepared for the attendance, all are okay. So we choose the reaction mechanism in such a way that you will familiar because mid semester is UV may be not very comfortable for each one. So at least any everybody can get some marks. Okay. So that's why I choose few uh, reaction mechanism for simple question or everybody can answer. Or later on if anybody missed this semester suffer some got supplement supplementary. So it will be helpful for, for passing actually later on. So that's why I choose this very simple reaction mechanism in syllabus. So Faborsky reaction actually, or you can say rearrangement also for alpha hello keto. Alpha, this is the alpha position with respect to keto. Okay, alpha position, neighboring position is alpha. So there is a two alpha, at least one, actually only one alpha hello gives ring contraction. So five, six member to five member in presence of base. And one carbon moiety will be removed from the ring as a acid group. So this is ring contraction. This is important. So Faborsky reaction gives a ring contraction six to five. What is the mechanism? Mechanism, the opposite actually from the chlorine Hello position to the another alpha position, base is abstract the proton, okay, and provide one minus ion, carbon ion. This carbon ion is stabilized because of the keto group. This one can go and oxygen can be negative. But another way, this negative ion, carbon ion and then move to the hello ketone this uh, hello carbon of the halogen position and it will leaving it will be leaving slowly and so there is a two cyclic system bicyclo system form as a intermediate and this is isolable actually but this is isolable but in presence of because we put initially OH minus and we not stop the reaction by acid or something so this base again attack OH minus attack the carbonyl group now because there is no chance any other way so it attack the carbonyl now. So what happens <coughs> this will attack an O minus if oxygen is coming then this bond is break okay one three member ring bond is a one carbon carbon bond is break and we will get this carbon ion and carb containing carboxylic acid moiety. And the hydrogen is abstracted from the water and we will get the neutral moiety of this carboxyl. This is, what is the name of this compound? Cyclopenta. Cyclopentin carboxylic acid, okay. 
you can uh, say like this not that the, we need don't need all the time the iopac name nickname also okay so from hello kitty to the six member ring that is important six member ring to five member ring okay so this is savorsky reaction you have only this mechanism okay and maybe uh, because for this one we have no option you you have to go maybe sometimes we give some uh, alpha halo state chain okay alpha halo ketone state chain not the cyclic form but the savorsky reaction will be same uh, there will be some acid group not in the ring contraction okay so this will uh, i will show later on before uh, the exam i will uh, after preparation of the question i will share little bit benzoin condensation i think this is also very familiar with everybody isn't it yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am so, this part actually very i just quickly go through because i know everybody know this is for the some secure mark you can get from the medicine and that is actually strategy that you not fail at all at least you get get some marks so that's why very quickly i will go to this aldehyde in presence of cyanide ion you will go to the benzene what is the mechanism so carbonyl carbon is attacked by the ch minus so this one is formed okay cyanohydrate then again in presence of there is some base also in in c2 you can put base not at a time so in that case this hydrogen is abstracted and there is a carbon ion form this carbon ion again attack the second carbonyl moiety okay and then the just the carbonyl group open give the o minus and again coming back and remove the cn minus uh, cn as minus so this is like a catalytic amount we need because it remove only activation of this carbon carbonyl one carbonyl moiety we need to initiate for the coupling of two benzaldehyde this is just to benzaldehyde coupling to form the benzoin so cn minus is a catalytic amount we need this is and uh, this is known as popularly benzoin actually so this is a benzoin condensation and condensation why condensation one water is two water is removed actually okay so that's why is condensation so benzoin formation via condensation method as a whole it is a benzene condensation so we will prepare this thing next one parking reaction is uh, is also familiar na yes ma'am yes sir yes ma'am all right these are very easy so that's why i just quickly go through archo aldehyde aromatic aldehyde in presence of acidic anhydride we will get a unsaturated acid carboxylic acid that is the motive that is actually unsaturated carbolic acid is very much important for organic synthesis sometimes not as a acid form ester form but it's okay now what is the this is little bit tricky actually mechanism uh, my suggestion <laughs> if parking reaction if you have another question like uv then don't attempt parking reaction because the uh, because now 45 you have 45 minutes okay for mid semester and you have organic inorganic and physical physical so very quickly if you are not confident then very quickly if you draw this structure maybe there is be mistake so better uv spectroscopy is very there is no so much confusion about the structural moiety actually you have to explain something or calculate something these are very easy compared to the draw the a mechanism of the parking reaction but kavorsky is okay but sometimes i i uh, my observations actually students are sometimes uh, they very much confident but mistake in the drawing the mechanism that's why so parking uh, reaction drawing the parking reaction for uh, exam purpose drawing this one is not okay so first acetoxy group and acetic anhydride so ac2o cleaved as the ac plus and oac minus this oac minus from the acetic anhydride extract the hydrogen for the from the acetic anhydride moiety also and form this some intermediate now this intermediate actually attacked 
the aldehyde the carbonyl position now what happened this will form first again it will attack the carbonyl position and forms a cyclic moiety this one so acid one acetic anhydride and l from aldehyde we will get this cyclic moiety now this cyclic moiety again open okay this is i, I show you this is negative ion coming back and okay and we again it will attack the second acetic anhydride moiety second acetic anhydride moiety for acetylation so we will get again one this moiety coming with this one abstract again oh minus so form the this one uh, this aldehyde abst uh, by abstraction of the hydrogen from this wholly this is the most acidic hydrogen because of the presence of this anhydride type of group this one and there is a some unsaturation appear so, and rest up to this one this is actually some ester this is actually some esterification ester type now so in presence of oac minus now it slowly removed by this way and we will get the acid the alpha beta isosurated carboxylic acid so acetic acid first use for the first this oxygen this oxygen for the carbonyl group is blocked by the acetic anhydride subsequently formed a cyclic moiety again from here the cyclic moiety opening as a acid group then this acid group is protected itself by the anhydride part forms a type of ester moiety the ester moiety actually this one and because of this one again the oh minus there will be some oh minus or oac minus also can abstract the proton okay actually sometimes we put here ac to ac2 or py or sometimes we put here some naoac also okay not only acetic anhydride later on uh, if it's there is pyridine it will be easy to remove actually sometimes so this way this is the alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid preparation but I, 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 my suggestion you prepare this one if i give the circular uh, this uh, first one uh, for the assignment it's okay but during the mid semester don't uh, go for this one i know it, it, very much mistakes happen with the student with this drawing the mechanism now the reagent late tetraacetate okay what is late tetraacetate this one pboac whole 4 what is the purpose of late tetraacetate here i show the chiral moiety both the oh are the same side okay in a position okay and now there is a remove of two acetic acid moiety by cyclic formation of with the late element with the oh two oxygen hydroxyl group oxygen after this one its cyclic rearrangement happened and we will get a two same moiety of aldehyde so one the moiety is same side to hydroxyl group in the same position then we will get a this moiety but in the opposite position one is a up and another one is a die uh, down position then what happened it also gives in a also gives the same product but the mechan intermediate is somewhat different here directly form a five member ring but here this there is a no formation of five member ring first one oxygen is involved and later on this one coming from the oac actually i write down oac in a o c double bond o m this oxygen actually abstract the hydrogen internally and it will form the carbonyl group so if this is the moiety we will get a five cyclic uh, intermediate five cyclic compound with the presence of pb 
but here no cyclic compound form but the product is same okay so you have to uh, think about the cyclic mechanism next one is the dcc reagent n n n n prime dicyclohexyl carbodiamide this is very important coupling reagent for the peptide synthesis actually this is simultaneously activate the carboxylic acid group followed by the coupling with the nh activation of the carboxylic acid group followed by the coupling of nh2 group formation of the amide group okay so first i just uh, not write anything maybe is amino group or any group any moiety but we have to carboxylic acid group then carboxylic acid group quickly actually attack the c of the dicyclocarbamide this is the carbo diimide this is diimide moiety and we will get a activated actually you can see this is a some ester actually now converted like ester now nh2 group from primary amine from another moiety will very quickly attack the this carbonyl group because now it activated and immediately we will get a amide bond formation and rest will be get as a urea derivative okay so this is use of the dcc very simple mechanism and importance is uses so this one you will prepare okay this will uh, i will show the i will give the presentation no problem and maybe one more mechanism uh, we have to read uh, i will prepare and Uh, just uh, talk to the other sir and then i will uh, in, in between i will uh, also finish this reaction mechanism so definitely we will read this and prepare this thing because mid semester at least one question three marks you will get from this uh, one or two question maybe four marks also uh, get from this one okay so 10 10 for organic chemistry only 10 for organic chemistry so there will be like uh, three marks from uh, organic chemistry or uh, structural determination and then uv and then some reaction mechanism 10 marks only for organic chemistry okay so up to this for today